हेलो एवरीवन हेलो दिस आई यू जोशी एंड अगेन आई एम हेयर विद अ न्यू कोर्स सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई वुड लाइक टू वेलकम यू ऑन द बिहाफ ऑफ अचीव आईएस सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट गुड गवर्नेंस बेसिकली व्हाट इज इट एंड हाउ इट वर्क्स हाउ इट विल बी यूजफुल फॉर अस एंड वाई इट इज इन न्यूज दीज डेज वाई वी आर स्टार्टिंग अबाउट इट ऑल दीज थिंग्स विल बी क्लियर इन दिस वीडियो सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट मी नो यू दिस इंडेक्स एवरी ईयर द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव रिफॉर्म्स एंड पब्लिक ग्रीवियंस give us an index that is good governance index it is published by the department of administrative reforms and public grievance so basically uh, what is this report let's study about it so basically why is in new, why it is in news recently good governance index was released it is a tool to access the status of governance in state basically what is it what is good governance in international development good governance is a way of measuring how public institutions conduct public affairs and manage public resources in a preferred way governance is the process of decision making and the process by which decisions are implemented or not implemented governance is in this context can apply to corporate internationals national or local governance as well as we can say the interactions between other sectors of society the concept of good governance thus emerges as a model of compare in effective economies or political bodies with viable economies of political bodies okay so uh, let's take a view that uh, or the or how the origin of good governance and the emergence of concept works and where it was the beginning of good governance so good governance was initially expressed in a 1989 world bank publication in 1992 the bank published a report entitled government governance and uh, development which explored the concept further and its applications in 1997 the bank redefined the concept that was good governance as a necessary precondition for development good governance is to promote and sustain holistic and integrated human development the central focus is to see how the development enables simplifies and authorizes its people regardless of difference of caste creed class and political ideology and obviously the social origin of to think and take certain decisions which will be in their best interest and which will enable to them to lead a clean decent happy and autonomous existence that was actually that is actually needed so basically we can say good governance is also a basic need of us so let's take a uh, highlights of it as we all know this on december 25 2019 government of india launched good governance index so uh, the category let's take a view of report that there were three big categories the india uh, was divided uh, the states and union territories were divided into three groups namely big states northeast and hill states and union territories so big uh, these big states three big states were northeast and hill states and union territories Tamil Nadu topped in good governance index in the big states category it was followed by Maharashtra Karnataka Tamil Nadu Chhattisgarh and Andhra Pradesh the report also said that among the big states the poor performers were Odisha Bihar Goa and Uttar Pradesh Jharkhand was ranked the last in good governance index in the northeast and hill states category himachal pradesh ranked first it was also followed by uttarakhand tripura mizoram and sikkim the bad performers 
the bad performance of performers of the category includes jammu kashmir manipur meghalaya nagaland and arunachal pradesh so these were the highlights of the report so let's take a look the of the characteristics of good governance basically if you need a good governance that what are the characteristics of it so basically the thing is the first thing is participation constructive participation of people through institutions or representatives provides way to good governance the second point is rule of law obviously that is the most important thing legal framework is important it should be in, uh, enforced in a good governance system if a governance will be enforced by the rule of law legal framework then it will definitely be a good governance so the next one is transparency that is needed enforcing transparency through uh, rule and regulation provides freely accessible information the next one is responsiveness uh, then consensus orientation and then equitable inclusion uh, and then effectiveness and efficiency accountability and strategic vision all these points are the basic characteristics of good governance we can say when when we can see all these points in a governing system then we can say it will be a good governance or it could be a good governance so let's take a view of the next the benefits of good governance yeah that is the needed the most important point of it what are the benefit of why we should work on good governance system why should why we have to release the good governance index and what is the basic need of it and all these things are dependent on the benefits of it because we are getting some benefits that's why we are uh, releasing these type of index at all so the benefits are the first of all education a good education and vocational training of demographic dividend helps in growth and development obviously education uh, is the basic key point of growth and development that will be the part of good governance okay the next is infrastructure basic in infrastructure like electricity health and transport a good governance will work on infrastructure so if infrastructure will be good then definitely the basic uh, the be basic needs is like electricity health and transport definitely all these things give you the living of standard so uh, by all these things this if infrastructure will be good that there, there will be a good governance okay so it will be a benefit of it the next thing is if governance will be good then it will work on safety safety of people safety of state safety of uh, country this will be the basic uh, um, you know key point of a good governance so next thing is employment obviously there will be 100% employment or we can say the good employment at all employment rates will be high the next thing is uh, business free market economy and ease of doing business provides sound business environment yeah it is uh, the fact the next thing is equality by way of equal rights and opportunity basically the thing is if we can see if we will see our indian constitution then we can see that there is the most important two most important perspectives that is fundamental rights and fundamental duties and before duties we discuss about fundamental rights and if we are going through fundamental rights it means the governing systems basic key is fundamental rights we all are following our constitution or governing system because we have the fundamental rights and governing system gave us a good fundamental system of fundamental rights at all so if we have all these things we have benefits that's why we are following a constitution or governing system so if we want to if every country every individual state wants to take its governance good at good level then the thing is uh, we got a benefit of it that is equality as well as freedom also and uh, the uh, most obvious services citizen charter right to information right to education all these are the main citizen centric nature which provide timely service to the doorstep definitely all these right to education right to information all these uh, legal frameworks are for citizens only we citizens are 
uh, get taking benefits of all these things and these points are the uh, key points or we can say the benefits of good governance okay so uh, let's go through the next point uh, what are the challenges of it yeah if a governance is going good if a government is doing well if a government of particular state or country is uh, pretending or just going to uh, do the good governing system then there will be definitely some challenges in front of it okay so what are the challenges the first thing is corruption the high level of corruption in india uh, have been widely perceived as a major obstacle in improving obviously we all know the political system if we talk, talk about political system we will talk about any governing department public department the most obvious thing that we can every individual uh, every child even can identify or the, he, he or she can say that yeah the basic point where we are lacking we are the top uh, in topmost country uh, india is in topmost countries at so many perspectives but still because of good uh, because of corruption we are still lacking in good governance so the basic challenge in front of good governance is corruption that is the most core area of uh, i can say core point of india so we have to uh, good governance a governing system basically have to work on in, in india firstly so the second point is criminalization of politics as we all know politics is like uh, the, we have we have already changed the perspective or the meaning of governance or political system the person who is a who is a new normal human being normal person from a society if we will ask him that what you want to become then he will never say a politician because in his mind it is totally like politicians is like you know a negative perspective so we have this is the basic challenge okay for good governance the next is political will technology delaying justice and centralization the, all these are the basic challenges in front of good governance so if a state's governance or a government or a central government wants to work about a good governance then all these challenges have to be faced by them so uh, these were the basic uh, challenges now let's uh, take a view to the government initiatives what government did or what are the basic uh, initiatives of government at all in in front of good governance so e governance to make all government government services accessible through common service delivery outlets this is the uh, system this is the initiative of government to provide a good governing system the next is right to information we all know about it it empowers citizens to inspect and see uh, government work or to take a sample of material used in any work the next thing is proactive governance and timely implementation that is pragati to address common men's grievances and simultaneously monitor and review programs of central and state governments the government initiates it this is pragati we will definitely discuss and come uh, discuss in our coming uh, videos or future videos that what is pragati it, it will be discussed in scheme sections okay the next thing is digital india to transform india into a digitally power empowered society and knowledge economy the, and digital india is the key point that we are work our present government is current government is working on it the next thing is citizen charter the vision and mission statement of an organization stating the outcomes desired and the strategy to achieve the goals okay so these were the initiative of government for a good governance or a good governing system so uh, this is this was aish joshi and uh, we were talking about good governance and hope it will be helpful for you uh, for coming exams uh, thanks for watching bye bye